any order? Thank you. Oh, well, just, just Has anyone been able to look at the previous minutes? Yeah. I want to go. Here, if you want more to come. Well, that's why we should all go up there and look at it. Yeah. But she said Ed went up. What's that? Yeah. That's great. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? I move to approve second. the minutes as well. Oh, it has to be Andy. Oh. Yeah, I'll second that. Yeah. <laughs> Any discussion on the minutes? Everyone? All those in favor? Aye. Oh, okay. Those bills are going around. So, going around. Exactly. And we did meet with Justin Mason previously. And yeah. Now, yeah. He's eager and ready to go. And now we have walkways. They're busy. Yep. So let's. Uh, we we can move on. Lisa, do you have anything like to share with us, or? I don't think so. I'm just here to listen. <laughs> okay. Or if anybody has questions, or if you have any questions for me, I'll be here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You ain't got them to stop, stop spending money down there, have you? I'd like to. <laughs> I haven't been able to do that yet. Yeah, take. <laughs> She thought that might be a question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we'll. There's the one button. Danny, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Uh, they started painting today. Did they start? Okay. Yeah. I heard Mark on the radio is trying to keep them off. Well, That's Mark got caught call. between the hard place because we shut them off on the Water Tower Road. Now they're going to be shut off on the Franklin Road yeah. tomorrow for the next two days. So, yeah. And then they can't take the shortcut by. Uh, in West Enosburg by the uh, swimming home because that's being closed for a week. Because it's okay. Well, yeah, uh, yeah. So they're paving now. Uh, we started hauling sand today just to see what was going on with that. And that works really well on their. Uh, well, we're, we're just lucky. We're not onto their road. Oh, there you go. So we come off Minerbrook Road and. Uh, I see they were parked there. Yeah, that was a little yeah. tight, but uh, um, of course, then once they get that done, we've got to stop hauling sand and fix at least fix driveways and mailboxes. Uh, we did a bunch of shouldering on that road, didn't quite get it all done, but more than we had. So uh, there isn't really much else. Not like somebody's got something for me. Anybody have any questions for Dan? This is fine. Trying to get that other driveway down there. Oh, oh power is just yeah. No. No. I thought that mm -hmm. was the one that we wanted done. That's the, most. the one the well, most, but we, we didn't get to it. <laughs> we wanted yeah, to wait, get. Wait a minute, no, no, I know you didn't get to it, but why did we get to Sid's and not to that one? Because you started yeah. top of the hill and worked your way down. Yeah. They ditched and everything on the way down. Well, yeah. Deludes need to be done too. That one was fun. Yeah, Which we had that? To, Tim Deludes. Tim you didn't even know that. No, yeah. I didn't. That was one we didn't know about. Of course, he he wanted it cleaned out and got yeah. cleaning it and it was rotten. Out. But they can do it afterwards before you guys well, do that. Well, yeah. The problem there was, I guess it's done no problem. And I wanted to get the shoulder done because I'm more apt to tear up if they black top it. I'm more apt to tear up the new black top more shoulder than anything. If I go down and just do the ditch. I can wait a week or two after it's cooled down and then go down and do it. That's so that was the idea behind that. Yeah. No, that makes sense. And that also. Uh, Anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can send a bill to Sid Berkson for 20 feet of 15 inch tube. So I got a um, email from Bellevue on the right away for um, them guys to inquire, whatever. And I, I did send them back a message that just said, I said, the select board is all good with what you guys are doing as long as you have all your state permits and whatnot, you know what I mean, in hand. I said, but they have a meeting tonight and I will, you know what I mean, make sure that's exactly what they had come up with and they already have all of their permits for the state and you know what I mean. Is that going down to King Road? Yeah. King Road and, yeah. Oh, okay. Just meaning they have to, you know, go by a certain amount of stuff for that, so. They just want to make sure that you guys are that they, you know, there's nothing they need from us for their right away. From the gasoline people? Yeah. Or if you paint it, you can steal another. Like I said, the last 
time we can just sit and take it all the same and get all of their testing on all the roads. That's okay. nobody just making sure. Well, that's what they have. Okay. I think you would in the last meeting, but it, yeah. You got a big fan. I'll just say select four degrees. Yeah, switch to do. And, but you know, they're going to start. I don't. No, they just want to make sure they can go ahead and just finish the rest of their permitting, saying that they got approval. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Berkshire Rec Committee. So they're doing, or so the Richburg Rockets are doing a game that's um, a suicide awareness game in memory of Avery Valencourt. And so they're doing, they want um, to ask the town to help donate towards their uniforms for this game, which is $300. And they're just asking us to do it. They said the game is. I'm sorry. It's a soccer game for Richard Rockets. Yeah, she didn't send me that. She just said that they they were doing it and. Oh, wait a minute. September 30th against oh, MVU, so and MVU already Saturday. has their uniforms. Yes. So they're doing it at MVU or here? I can't do it here. No, I think it is there. But yeah. So this is what she said. <laughs> I mean, she talked to me first, but then sent me emails so that you can sign it for me. Okay. So this the, is the, the uniform for the Richwood Rock. Right, and they're just gonna have t they're just gonna have t-shirts, but they're gonna have the suicide awareness and stuff like whatever. They were hoping they got donations around town to help with everything else. Do I have a motion to approve two hundred dollars for this? Suicide awareness game that's ready to rock. I'll make the motion to do it. Any discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's so, telling me because there was, uh, there was a, a glow or something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we went. Uh, did yeah. you go to that? Yeah. 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 So Vince already knows this, but we cannot change anything about the taxes, you know what I mean, as far as waiving any penalty or interest till Friday, um, only because it has to be voted on by the voters in an annual meeting, and that didn't really work. So that's why we got the signs, and I threw them up all over town, and um, I'll stick some notices up around um, come Monday just to make sure that they're bright for people at the last minute. Yeah. You know, so there really shouldn't be any use to this. Well, make sure you pay your taxes by the board. Yeah. Well, before it leaves. Uh, whatever. Yes, my so better judgment. I don't know if wine joke is or not. Wait, no. You're a week early. You can't do that. You'll she, screw me all up. She wants it. Hurry up. Get the money out of the check box. Okay. okay yeah, so yeah, the last yeah. thing is the salvage yard thing for Tim Damaris oh, that yes, yes, Tony had asked me yes. to send to Vaughn. Well, guess what? Vaughn didn't get to it. Oh. Three times he told me he was going to get back to me, and then it, tax season's upon us, and I did not think to ask him until 3.30 this afternoon. You know, there's just, so I don't know. But to me, this thing, as I see it, is only that you guys are approving the location of where this salvage yard is. And it's already established. So... All in all, I can wait for him, or you guys can just say that you approve yeah, the yeah, location yeah. of this salvage yard. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. Just meaning like where it is, because in our bylaws, it's in the extended, I mean, it's in the rural land, so that that's allowable use where it is. Yeah, and you throw that back to the DRB. No, the DRB has to approve it too. Yeah. But we have to wait for you guys and then their second. That's my I'm not in favor of it, but I mean, that's just me. Okay. Because I don't see the top. We shouldn't approve the salvage yard. I mean, it's been there forever. Yeah. Right but it's like, it took forever to get rid of the one down in West Lake. And I mean, if he's trying to get out of it, that's fine. But it's like, to me, it sounds like if you approve it, then you're saying, okay, you can take it. Well, that's what I was waiting for Vaughn because this is only stating that you're approving the location that it's at, not that you're approving them to have one. So that's what I wanted him to clarify, and we don't have it yet. So, which I can bring back from the good I'm okay with it. Other people feel, I mean, I'm just one person. Well, 
if it's to get it cleaned up to prove that it's a that we know it's a location, I have no issue with it. But I'm not opening up a junkyard. Yeah. Okay. That's, so I'm and I don't believe Joe's intentions are to have a junkyard. Are we approving a junkyard or are we approving a location? My wife doesn't get caught down. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Okay, nope, that's fine. Um, so, Marge and them, as you probably already know, Barabee's got their waiver from the yeah. DRB to go ahead and let David Record build his house there. Oh, good. Um, and other than that, I have nothing except for them guys. <laughs> them guys. Oh, welcome. sorry. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, I can't even say that. <laughs> Here. I think I got them all. I'm good. I'm going to go sit on the two bosses. Can I sit here? Nope, I'm good. You should talk to you. I trust you better than you. <laughs> <laughs> It <laughs> wasn't nothing about you. No. Yeah, it was. Not Tom. It was not Tom. Yeah. Not you. Okay. I believe that. <laughs> so welcome. Huh. And you have some things for us? <laughs> she does. Here first. No. Oh. She's telling us. No, let's you. look at the building first. Okay. So I just did a preliminary sketch kind of thing so that I had something to show Michael Dugan. And as it turns out, a structural engineer also. Um, there's just two copies here. That's pretty much what you guys told me. And then um, when I met with Michael, he made a couple other suggestions and off my questions and stuff too. So um, he said, uh, really needed because i asked him if this door would be good enough for a second exit out for this area and he said no add another door here yeah i thought we said yeah we yeah we were gonna put yeah okay yeah um and then uh, we just didn't want it here okay um i put the trenches but like we were just talking i don't know if you can space them off so you don't have one long one but the questions I asked him were, <clears throat> well, because of some of your conversations, some stuff obviously I don't know, and he knew the answers to and stuff, but when you guys were talking about the moisture in the building and humidity control issue, um, I thought the metal was part of the issue. Really it's not, it's just the amount of water coming off the trucks basically, yeah. and the trench drain is probably gonna help that a lot because um, it's going to get the bulk of it out of there and then the rest will evaporate because of the radiant. So I understood that. Um, walls and doors, these all have, this whole wall has to be all fire rated along with the doors being uh, one hour. I think I wrote down somewhere. Um, fire rated doors anyway. Um, sheetrock, fire coated sheetrock ceilings because of the open room up above. So basically it's all fire coated. It makes it easy. Mm -hmm. I asked them about the step down, the four inch step down. Um, you know, if they had to have a ramp, every door would have to have a ramp if you have it like this. Or if you go back to, as we, you had, the other plants had a hallway, then you'd only have to have one ramp coming down kind of deal, as long as there's a ramp yeah. coming down in there. So, you know, I also asked, he said he didn't think the four inches is even necessary. It can be flat now. But the reason the four inch was for the fumes and fuel, for the fluid, sorry, yeah. not fumes, fluid, um, mm -hmm. not going in. That was the goal of that kind of thing. So um, let's see what else. So if you have a hallway, do you still have to have the fireproof doors? No, you wouldn't, because that would Because you would go in there. Right. Yeah. This wall would be the fire coated. You don't, uh, it, you'd only have to have a door, fire door where the right, stepped off yeah. that. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So like in Montgomery's garage, 
you come through your entrance here, and then your hallway was here, there was a opening here, yeah, and then open. another six foot opening here, no doors. Oh. Whoops. Well, they probably have Still fire rated doors in their offices, though. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, that's where the, the fire it sets over. Oh, that over. could be then. Yeah. I think, so that, I think that wall so and those openings are because of the mezzanine. First or two, and then you have two uh, fire rated doors. Holding one the me, end of the mezzanine. Where it's a step down, and one where it's So the openings yeah. are just so they, for access. So it's still, I would. I would say it's probably still fire rated doors and fire rated sheetrock back on that other wall. It could yeah, be. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I do believe they're sheetrock, so. I mean, I don't know what the difference, I know it's more expensive, obviously, but um, you're talking minimal, I would think, compared to yeah, overall. Overall. Yeah, it's five inch drywall to half inch. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, we already talked about that. A sprinkler system business. Uh, he looked it up, and as far as he can tell, it's 8,500 square feet. The building's rated as an F1, but he said he'd have to verify that. But he doesn't believe you have to worry about sprinkler. You know how you guys are talking about having to put a wall through? Yeah. He doesn't think you have to worry about that. That'd be great. I know. Bonus, right? Yeah. The only thing he did say was um, draft walls up in the, uh, not necessarily walls, draft Trusses. Trusses. You got to have a fire break so the fire. Right. Can exactly. Continue. Two of them for this size building. Mm -hmm. Is that um, five eight drywall right to the peak? The, yeah. Some other guys were saying that that end bay was going to be a work bay, and that had to have a, well, yeah. a fire coated wall yeah. kind of thing. Well, yeah. that's yeah. If you're going to make it work, maybe that's true. If you're going to be welding and stuff well, like no, that. Well, no, they told us we had to have one bay. Just for repair work. Okay, but it wasn't and for sprinkler system. No, no. Okay. But we still had to have. A, they didn't call it a firewall because I guess that's a lot more expensive than. It's like a two-hour okay. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but that they both told us that you know we can't just have it all out in the open. Yeah. Okay. Maybe like double five eights or something. Yeah. yeah. And that's all where we did repairs only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Because that's where you're supposed to do all your repair work is in that one bay. Right. And would you always stick to that? I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> just to just to just, just to build it. Just to build yeah. it. Yeah. You're gonna work on it wherever you're broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of hard. I can't move it to you fix it. Huh? All right. <laughs> okay. But that's what they they you know. It's... So now, were you saying the hallway was better to put in or leave it out? It depends on the price. If yeah, it's just add, it's add to this. Yeah, you yeah. have to add four feet. Yeah, to we your have building. to add to that end right. if we put a hallway in. Yeah. No, well. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're going to take all this, and, and you're still going to, and you're still, if you do that, you're still going to be under the eighty-five hundred square feet for your sprinkler. Yes. You still can do it and get a, and not do your sprinkler. Well, that's mm -hmm. probably the way to go. You know, you know, we can't lose the footage in between the bays. That's the only thing because we can't lower our wings down. We can lower it down on another truck. So, uh, so when you only the first three bays, though. Yeah. So when you well, say your even, wings, you, yeah, that's the big plow the, thingy here. Yeah. Yeah. So and how wide are you? I know, but you can lose totally the if they're down. Um, you know, like twelve or thirteen feet. Right, half of a, a highway is you know. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, most. Most of them, 22 feet, 23 feet, 24 feet, they jump around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right, but our last two bays are, are only going to be, they're not going to be for the truck and the wings. No, it will be for the grader, but you can put the grader in, it's got a wing on it, and it takes up all of it. You don't... And that's why you're doing the wide doors, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then put whatever you want, wherever you want it. Right, you have plenty yeah. of room then, basically. No, I mean, that's fine like... with that. It's just... Okay. So I think the hallway... I think there's pluses and minuses to it, obviously, just I like don't anything. Think it's going to cost. It'd probably be cheaper to do this than to add on four more feet to the whole building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I fire so. coated and just. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. would you just do would you just ramps all the way down? Are you good? Set because, it level. If we don't yeah. have to raise oh, there you it, go. set it level. Set it level. Why set it level. mess with it? Yep. I agree with you. Yep. Or, or make sure in the prints it slopes this way. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Set it level. Slide. Yeah. Huh? Right. Set it level. Yeah. Can. I still got to verify. Your slide will slope from here this way a little bit. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't. Which they should do anyway, right? Mm-hmm. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Where's here? Where's <laughs> Now what's this? Oh well, this is this, yeah. this here. Yeah. This is when I was talking to Michael because you have these stairs going up over to the mezzanine. I don't say that word very well, so I'll call it loft. Me. Um, so going up to the loft area, and I said there's rail. I said it's all open. He said it's 780 square feet. I think it was something like that. He said you really should have another set of stairs. In case something's happening over here, you can't get to over, you know, kind of thing. Oh, so that's a set of stairs. Another set of stairs, and he was setting it in the office. I was thinking it should be out here, just like these guys are, but run up and over like that. So that's a clarification that has to be figured out too, if it's required. Wait, numbers, they, they ain't got no other stairs other than the ones. No, no, just, 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 just it's that the same one. size. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, they do kind of bigger because they get the four foot. But they do like when you come I mean, in, this part is like open, then you go up into the hallway. So that's something else I have to verify. You know, I only had like you know forty five yeah. minutes with the guy, kind of thing, and him I mean, looking that's at what it. it. Is, it's... So, I mean, if you don't have to do another set, you don't, don't right. want to do them, obviously. But see, well, one of the problems with Montgomery's was they made the mistake, and they only had like eighteen inches right here. So when the truck comes in, you can barely get the door open. Oh yeah. And with that being wider, it should work. Uh, so the other thing that he's saying, um, I had my door swings uh, door swings out, um, and he said another door should be set here, so you have like a a lock, an airlock kind of thing. Yeah. But that was when I was asking him a question about this being an exit, and he goes, "Well, you really should have another door anywhere." And, so, um, well, if they put the stairs in, you'd have to have another door here, right? Yeah, you're going to have to. Which is fine. But I don't, I don't know if you want the stairs to be within this office. That's making that office another four smaller. feet smaller. Yeah. I, I mean, how much goes on in there? I don't know how many file cabinets. And... No, there's not that much. No? Okay. Yeah, considering all of this is all down to here. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You're being generous on that footage, ain't you? Yeah. You're being generous on that footage, ain't you? I forgot the eye wash, but I know it was well. well. Oh, the eye wash would have to go outside. Well, so right. Oh, I literally grabbed Do it all the plumbing wall in this area here. Yeah. But yeah. I just, I kept saying, I'll go back to it, go back to it. I mean, that's no big It's thing. just preliminary plan, so I wasn't too worried. Um, yeah, because the sewer coming out someplace on this wall, because it's already installed, you just got to run a pipe to it. Oh, okay. I'm sure you know what that mm-hmm. well, and then here. the water's coming in. They'll probably come into the utility room. Okay, yeah. Because then it's got to go from there to here. The water does. So why don't you put the hazard on this side and the mechanical on this side and you can vent out? Yeah, it doesn't matter. The only other reason I'm saying that is for your water sources. Well, yeah, your, your water's going to be at least 10 feet away from your septic going in and out, too. you got to keep that in mind. Oh, okay. There they can't go. come in. they got to be 10 feet apart, your water I mean, and your septic. It, it, you know, it's coming into cement, so it can come in anywhere. Yeah, just so you know. It's just got to be okay. apart. And it's city, right? Is it? No, no, no. no. We we drill, 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 drill the well for it. Drill the well we haven't used yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's just sitting there. So we've got to have a place for the well extract kind of thing. And the sewer box, hopefully it's 10 feet away from that, huh? Uh, of the tank? Yeah. <laughs> it will be. It just, yeah, it's not, that's not a problem. Just, uh, okay. You might yeah. want to check on that. What no, but those are already in place. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, 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 tank, the tank the is in place. Have the tank's switch. in place and the, the, the spring's already, the well's already drilled, so everything. Yeah, yeah the drill, <clears throat> yeah, the well's there and the septic mound is already there. That's well, all been engineered by it's, it's, it's not a mound, it's a tank. Yeah. Well, yeah. Or, it's or a tank over there. Room, but yeah. They're already set over there, yes. Yeah. They're and made, you, you're, yeah. Are they 10 feet apart? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just thinking they're here and here. So the so. water, well, no, they're, I'm not. The water line and the septic line where they come to the building have to be 10 feet apart. Yeah. When you get outside the building, then there's a whole different. 
I don't know. There are there's all there. different rules yeah, I mean, when you get outside. I mean, the tank, like I said, the tank, the old building is right here, let's say. It's over 10, but I don't know how much. And I know your your septic tanks. And the septic tank is today. over here. Your septic tanks have to be 50 well feet away from your well. Good 100 yeah. feet. 50 feet. So it's a good 100 feet. feet. Oh, it's almost 100, 100 feet. feet. It's our house <laughs> your septic yeah, your septic tanks have to be 50 feet away from your well. Yeah, but the, I don't know. The they're they're not they're not septic tanks. They're yeah, tanks. There's What's no leach field. There's no leach field. But he's talking the lines come out. It doesn't matter. Just the lines come through. Yeah. It's so still up here. Yeah. That's what we use we now. Yeah. Yeah. And they let it be happening still. Yeah. 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 We pump it once a year. Same as this place. Yeah, it's not like taking a bunch of showers or anything. Yeah. Um, you just want to be clear on that with Michael Jarvis and when you do that. He, yeah, he's, so uh, he's already... That was a Jarvis and yeah, he, Roy. We've talked to him. We if, 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 it's, if they've looked at it, but I just know that... They're yeah, we can go it. over it with him again. Yeah, but, just make sure. Yeah, he's, he has looked at it. I was just looking for that, but I didn't find it. Yeah, we got copies or prints of it someplace. Don't yeah. sell it. Yeah, somebody does. Somewhere. If it's all engineered no, now, it should be yeah. good. Right. Yeah. Just, yeah. Well, just so when you come in the building, you got to be 10 feet apart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't, you don't want to make the mistake and bring one in and bring it too close, and then they're going to make you redo it. Put it through the same hole. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I was talking to Michael, he said it had to be done, uh, a structural engineer had to be involved because of the 20-foot walls. So he gave me a name. So I contacted him. Brian Douglas, and Brian was kind enough to get information to us for tonight's meeting. I just talked to him on Thursday, I I got and enough. I had sent him these. That's so. all right. Can I do one? Somebody else wants one? A couple extra. I'll take one. Since I didn't print Oops, it sorry. Yet. So I talked to Brian today, and I have no He's apparently done a little bit in digging or investigating already. Oh, yeah. He's telling, he had a conversation, and it's in here somewhere. Wherever you guys plan on building this building, you there's a whole lot of stuff that may need to happen there. You cannot build this building on the fill that you've got put in there in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. It's got to be taken out. What if it's under 20 feet? That's, that's yeah. him. But he want, he, so in this, in this thing, if you read it, he, it, part of this was, Part of this deal is he comes out and digs and does test pits in the area you want to build the building and they do they test it to see what you have for fill or what's there for in the ground um, he goes i don't know if you guys if if you guys understand that but that's part of the structural yeah. thing so i don't i can't answer answers but i know he wants to come he would have to come here and he, any structural <clears throat> engineer he said is going to do the same exact yeah. thing if you guys have put fill in there it has to be has to be tested. It may, depending on what it is, it may have to all be taken out and then everything might have to be brought back to grade together and compacted. Well, we want to grab a bit, though. <laughs> it's what he told me. And I, I don't know. Yeah, until, I mean, yeah. No, I, until I, you I, do test pits. Yeah, well, we'll have to have him. Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to do like Keenisburg, do 200, quarter of a million dollars worth of digging when you can build it right on top of what was there. Yep. I, get, I get it. <laughs> no, but, I want to, but you can't argue with it. <clears throat> uh, that's it right there. So uh, it says in here. Is it with Jarvis to see if we go down to 18 feet, if we have to do all that extra crap? Yep. Because it's the same sand we dig out of the ditches and stuff that we took out of the pit to put there. So <laughs> I don't know anything uh, about it. Yeah, I haven't, I'm not sure it's putting it. It's been dumped and drove on, but it's not really compacted. I think that's what he's worried about. Right. It's a settling issue. It, if there's an issue, yeah, yeah, there's no stumps stuff. and crap in there, is there? It's all pretty much. Well, you know, he says no. may, he says may not be suitable. So mm -hmm. the testing is going to answer that question yeah. and right. just yeah. go from he, there. He doesn't, say, he doesn't know exactly what's there, but he did know that you've been dumping fill there. How he knew that, I don't area. know where he got that information. I like that. Historical fill area. <laughs> That's see. what you call a film. So, so how does he know that? Because he's from this area. Probably all garages do do that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he all wants you to do test it. Look at the area. Yeah, yeah, he looked at topographical map and and probably saw some of Roy's work. Could be. And saw it and then that up right. It could be. So he wants to test it. It would be part of the process for him. I mean, it's to dig and you have to supply. 
Well, if you look in here, you have to just supply dig safe, and then you have to supply an excavator to dig test pit holes for them. Okay, so construction documents. I get the... Yeah, he'll be doing all the little um, details and the sketch and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Stuff that I can draw, but because a structural engineer is involved, he'll be doing his own structural engineering. He has to. He has or to. Or we have to. He's, you he's have not going to take my stuff. Or the villain has to. Michael will take my stuff and okay it and everything because mm -hmm. I'm doing what Michael says. This guy's a whole different game kind of thing. So, so he's just come, he's going to do that and he's going to you know go over the documents and his total service is about eighty thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. No, nope, that's mm -hmm. okay. that's his that's, services. No, no, exactly. That's, his, that's what I'm just saying yep. for him. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just yeah getting that number. Yeah. Okay. That and that's if we understand exactly what he's covering. Um, I mean, that's what I yeah. say, the construction documents is the specs and everything that he has, that you see other plans have. That doesn't include like dig safe and the... Dig safe is free. Oh, dig, yeah. And yeah. in the excavator, you guys have yeah. an answer you can okay. dig. Pretty safe. much, yeah. That's why they put that, yeah. that part. But I kind of, I kind of did my thing that it's a municipality and um, us taxpayers have to pay for this, so... I'm not a big advocate for jacking prices unnecessarily. <laughs> I mean, the big thing, what I'd be wondering is how big does it have, you know, how much do we have to dig out? If it's an 80 foot wide building, if we dig out 90 feet, is that enough or does he want it all out? You have to wait for him. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I can't answer he'll, that. He'll tell him. Yeah, I, I, know, he's, I know he's going Pretty to Pretty much, uh, if any, if he's proposing more than just the building site, I think it's overkill. Right, and I'm pretty sure he won't. I mean, you mean maybe <laughs> ten feet on the outside, yeah, so mean, six feet or whatever. On or they have the to dig because the they always dig what four feet extra for the foundation. The over dig or whatever, yeah. but no. Be able to get into yeah, the just yeah. to get the foundation. I'm assuming. The how how I I don't remember how deep is that? Oh, some of it's ten feet deep, twelve yeah. feet deep. So what he's going to want is he's going to want the whole building. Down, yeah, and then down, down, well, I mean, all compacted down to together. Higher hand and now I know exactly. Which is, you know what? You want this building to be there 50, 60 years from now yeah. with yeah. not cracks the other and the other one's built on well, right. I mean, it's, to me, it's kind of. I mean, you dig it out 12 feet. You know, some of that's been in there for 40, 50 years. So it's it. You know, this is in my um, thought. Oh, natural is it? So it's it's compacted itself down. You go out and you dig it down 12 feet in one month and try to fill it up. Well, now it's not compact. Well, no, you're going to get the equipment in well, there and then they do a compact uh, and they test it. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. It's all, you He's know what I mean? He's going to test it where it's oh, compact yeah. and he's going to be okay with that. Yeah. yeah. And, and you're, you mean, you're, you're not wrong, really. And then, that's what they require. Yeah. Yeah. See, with frost, you don't worry too much about frost because you're radiant. So your ground underneath it never freezes. Mm -hmm. So that's always a plus, but. Yeah, I mean, whatever they say, you're going to do. It's, you you have no choice. We have no choice. choice. Yeah. You, well, want it, if you, want it, you can question it, but generally speaking, mm -hmm. you don't have yeah. a lot of choice. The other thing that Ann had mentioned is 8 inch concrete slab is what they require. For, for that's what, well, I can see that. That's the, yeah, the, eight inches, the which Bay I Area. Is, it's 8 inch. That's huge. And this right. is 4. Yeah, I can so, um, Concrete guys are going to be smiling. Mm -hmm. I mean, the port. <laughs> say nothing about putting the stool, though. Right. Oh, that's all going to be, off. that's not going to be normal or er, mm -hmm. residential Especially footing. Especially depending on the soil that's over there. Yeah. I mean, look at the sand shed, it's at 18 inch walls. 18 or 16 remember. inch walls. Mm -hmm. Double rebar. I think it was 16. And the other thing you mentioned, Seems like there were double, two by eight stuff. Yeah, the but wall's got to be two by eight. The walls have to be two by eight. eight. So, um, the little tidbits that I got here and there. Yeah. So that helps on estimating and knowing, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want the building to rack and you don't want it to be all filled up blocking that could be eliminated some of the blocking by doing two by eight walls, basically. There's still going to be blocking everywhere. But. The uh, Montgomery's is 16 foot ceiling. Yes. And they're two by six walls. Yeah. Yeah, so they can't raise their bodies all the way up. Not quite. And said. that's one of the questions he asked See, me. See, we could go to 18 foot. And I said it was so you guys could raise your dumps up some, correct? Yeah. We, I How wasn't really you need paying 100 <laughs> we, we, Oh, I don't know. But if it was an 18 foot ceiling, we could do 18 foot. Well, 18 foot might right, make it a little cheaper to build the rest of the building. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. for sure. But It'd my question for you is, the top when the belt was up, money. You, to work under it, you've got your safety locks. Well, we have manual safety locks. We can put them anywhere. Yeah, okay. So. But when you set those locks, you can set the dump wherever you want it, or yeah. is it? Well, it, it comes down, it comes down on the frame, you chain it to the frame, and then it's up this high. The farther you slide it to the back of the truck, your higher your body will stay. Right. So. But you can adjust that. You can adjust that. So you can adjust it if the dump all the way up. So you're playing it on a flat ceiling then? Yeah, um, that's what I told them. Initially. Okay. That's what you guys said. Yeah. Yeah, you, as long as it, even if it was pitched, it to the center was better than 18 feet. Somewhere, or somewhere around in there, but flat ceiling would be better. I think flat ceiling is structurally better than a, a mm -hmm. scissor truss or something like that for this expansion of You're space. not hanging anything off it like you they did in Montgomery? I don't see any reason to. What are they, they hanging? Well, no, Montgomery hang, well, they don't hang, but they chain up their plow fronts off oh. these big brackets that they had engineered in there. That's a whole different. Yeah. No, I know, but I. How do we don't do that now? We don't, we're, we don't do it now, so. Okay. Yeah. They leave their plows in, we take, in the summertime, we take ours out, so. We don't need them. They, got the, they take their plow fronts off and leave the inside chain. There's a chain that comes off the ceiling and just holds it. So if anybody hits it, they don't fall over. Yeah, I mean, Big old bracket up there. It says good for 3,000 pounds or something. The other thing, I don't know if you, real quick, I noted. This guy also did, you see the buildings he did? Mm -hmm. He did Montgomery's building. Yeah. Montgomery, St. Albans, Rutland, South Hero. Mm -hmm. So he did he Montgomery's. to be with Cross. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just so you... To him. Mm -hmm. So he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. um, what else? There's something else you guys just said. Lead down. Lead down. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, in my talking with Michael and with Brian, the Michael would be doing the fire life safety general and permitting. He hasn't given me a solid number yet. So and what's that? On um, stamping for the state. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay. Um, but he said also that you would need um, stamped electrical and plumbing. And I know, as I said, as long as they're licensed, master licensed. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I said, is that okay? They may not have a stamp. And I said, if they don't do drawings, I can do the drawings with them. They just guide me and make sure that it's what they want kind of thing. He goes, yeah, that should be fine too. Um, but then uh, Brian was saying to help with the humidity control that a heating ventilating kind of person is to get involved. They can be quite costly, but if you buy the product at FW Web, they can figure that all up. So you don't have to pay for that part with the other guys. So, and I don't know of other, so I only know the in on FW Web because my husband retired from there. So, but other companies may have that, but I know Web has the air and separate department and stuff, so. <laughs> what else? Anything else? Um, sprinkler, we answered that. Fire code. Um, I think if you want the walls drop down two feet, that's definitely going to save you some money. <laughs> right. That's a big um, bill that's going to add up. Yeah. And then I mean, two feet ain't going to... We won't be able to raise them all the way up, but we got them up far enough. I mean, we can raise ours right now about this high. Right. Yeah, but you only got 14 feet. <laughs> so, yeah, so you gain four <laughs> feet, that, so that'll help yeah. you a lot getting yeah, in there, I mean, right? Yeah. If you're lucky, you get that. I mean, if you had to raise it all the way up, were you trying to make it so you could raise it all the way up with 20 foot? Even that wouldn't be all the way up, would it? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the raptor so, so so is 20 rock. feet in the sand shed. So you don't want to work out in the cold, so... So you can, yeah. you can go in the sand shed. Yeah. Oh, that's cold. Cold. <laughs> Wait a minute, when it's cold, the sand shed's full. <laughs> yeah, so you're thinking 18 foot walls? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I think they're going to I think 18 will be more than enough. How? 18 foot ceiling. Yeah, yeah. 18 foot ceiling. Ceiling. Yeah. 
Yeah, Montgomery so drives 16. So you're going to do like a two foot curb and then 16 foot studs. Yeah. Roughly. I'm, you yeah. Know, yeah. That's what you're thinking. Get down yeah. there and it might, yeah. the ground might not have to be as solid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's all back to the ground. <laughs> that's, that's well, no, a, that costs cost money to move dirt. Oh, I know. That's going to be a big cost. Yeah. 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 Enosburg moved dirt and there's a quarter of a million dollars moved. Well, I, I was involved in the town of Fairfax on the new office building, and they wanted to, the guys wanted to do it, and it came down to that they just ended up doing, moving the dirt, basically, is what they ended up doing. Yeah, and it was I mean, lots of trucks of sand brought in. Because I don't know, we could push ours over uh, somewhere, it must be. That architect, oh, yeah, we just got to push it off, dig it out. If, let's say, it's what 60 feet wide if we go 70 feet 75 feet yeah we just push it off behind it yeah the right don't that, matter yeah whatever yeah, well, possibly so that we place are, middle we don't have to truck it 10 yeah. miles like you, you, no, you no. should have to truck it middle road in milton the farm stand truckloads and truckloads and now it's a solar field yeah, yeah. i mean that thing's got it's probably 100 feet deep it's all brought in fill <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, um, David Roy said that. What one did they just do? And they spent like seven hundred thousand on just site work. Yeah. Yeah. No, it can it can add up. Yeah. I mean, We're if gonna... we could just put it off to the side, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that bad, I don't believe, price wise. Other than trucking, well, I mean, you guys, you, you can absorb the trucking itself, but. It's still a lot of digging. Somebody's gonna, well, we'll get, gonna, get, get somebody in there to dig a lot of material. So leave the building the same footprint. Yep. Mm -hmm. Fire code on everything here. Yep. Flat floor. Yep. Flat yep. floor. Flat floor. <laughs> Fire code up everything. So do you think the two rooms should be staying the same? Should we leave them like this? No, not really. Where the lines are coming in, probably. Well, it's still going to be wig time. I mean, here's the bathroom. I don't know what you said. Sewer and water. The bathroom's way well, over there, and the, the sewer. The, the sewer could come out in front of the bathroom. Right, exactly. And then the water could come in. So I still say put this. Yeah, you, you said that swap that around. Right, right in the corner, so it's. I don't know. Yeah, swap that around and we could have the water come in to the utility room. Yep. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's actually, that has to be, you know, probably a tank. Yeah, that's what you can tank there for the well. Yeah. Swap room. As long as we well, got a part. But you were talking right about it being like a semi meeting room and stuff, too. Most By the time, time you get a table in there with the chairs, it's eaten up. Or even if you do a couple chair at tables. That was Montgomery's there, like, pretty small. Yeah. They had that little round table, and that was it. Yeah. Well, ours would be bigger than theirs. Well, they have to, if they want to get one less office. Five and training and stuff. Yeah. No, that's a, basically a pretty good deal there. Reverse that. No hall. Do you want the trenches broken? Uh, I don't know how much trenches are, but I mean, that's 20 feet of trench that probably can I be eliminated. You, I would break them, like do 12 <laughs> foot in front of each door. The grates are expensive. Yeah. Yeah, okay. No, oh, and then you just pipe. Yeah, you yeah. pipe yeah. together. As they say, pipe is cheap. Mm -hmm. If you do 12 feet, would be enough. that's a pretty good size grate, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, as long as it all slopes to the drains anyway, so. Yeah. Right. yeah. And it gives you a place where, like, you could wheel something through there, you ain't going over a grate. Great. I mean, they're probably only, what, 12 inch grade anyway. Or 8 inch. Oh, no, probably 16. Probably. Oh, 16. The grade 16? 14, 16, 14. That, really, that big? I don't know. I'm, I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> no, about, the, about the size 14, of a shit shallow. You were saying, or 14 or 16. Shallow. Yeah, well, whatever. Or something know. like that. Oh, yeah, because you got to be able to lift it up and yeah, dig yeah, the crap yeah, out, right? Just big yeah, enough yeah. for a, 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 to get a, yeah. you got to get the sand out of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I probably should know that information. <laughs> um, with, well, with. Harrison's going to know that. Your the concrete guy's going to know that information. So I'll ask right? Jimmy. They're gonna, there's yeah. a standard size. And then what I, I've always done is just gone to see uh, Valancourt. I mean, cut some, makes the grates, and we drop them in. 
So the cement company, will they um, engineer the cement and stuff? No, um, it'll all be done through yeah. Brian. And then the concrete his company spec. will go to their spec, what his spec. It's whatever he, uh, okay. Yeah, whatever they say, and he'll they'll price it to his design. Yeah. You'll have a the PSI or whatever. Yep. And you'll have the three bar and all that. All the specs, yep. It'll all be there. He may even design a trench drain. He may give the specs on a trench drain. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I told him. I told him that you guys had already talked to somebody that you were able to do the trench thing because you were doing a holding tank or something like that. Yeah, we got a sediment tank. Mm -hmm. So I probably. Well, that's if we get a permit for that. <laughs> I, no, we don't need the permit for that because that's already. Yeah, Roy already said that we were allowed to do that part of it. And that, I don't know. So probably if there's any details on that, that would make this more complete. Put that in there. Yeah. I'll have to find it, but yeah, because it was set up in the design when he, I think when he put it in for our permitting and stuff, I think, but I'll have to double check. I got the file in here. I think that's all my notes that I got at this in this two week time frame. That's a lot of information. Oh. Yeah. I tried. On to work efficient. Um, Jarvis, well, you already kind of said he's going to have to correct this. It's in the, he doesn't have the right footprint for your building on your new site plan. No, he doesn't. That's right. Because you guys had started out with the. Um, 160. Yeah, it was like 100 by whatever. 60, 60 by 100. So yeah. Right. I think he he's it. noted that here, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Brian yeah. noted right. that that there were difference. There was but a difference. he said it was a 60 problem. by 100 building. All right. And you guys are going to go 60 by 120, so mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think the building can be shucked around in several different ways. Yeah, it may make sense to move it around <coughs> to whatever he finds. Depending on what he tests. finds in the ground. Mm -hmm. If he tests the ground and he get a little, well, you may want to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Cheaper, right? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, so moving forward, what do you... Like, not for me, like my end of it still not even into play of any of this at this point, but like, you gonna, how does this work? Like, you're gonna know, hire her to, you're gonna hire all right. these people to do this stuff for you? You know what I mean? What's the next step for, to move on here? Well, I would think the next step was to soil. test the soil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, you, and so, yeah, but you, know, you gotta hire him. Hiring, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta hire you gotta him. hire her, and you gotta hire Dugan, and you yeah. gotta, yeah. My, like I said, my step's not even started. Like you can, but we're they, they got to get, no, well, they can. That's what he asked me, who his billing should be. Would it be under through you or directly through the town? I said, so, I don't know if Sean's who calls. So we're going to. What do you need me for? We so does anybody for. got an idea roughly or you got to wait to see? No, I think she's got a rough idea, right? Like rough, what are you? I, the only thing I don't know is um, I obviously haven't talked to the plumbing and electric electrical guys to see what their cost would be to do this extra work on. And that's a question I have for you guys. Just to what, who to use kind of thing? Right, do you guys have anybody? I know maybe your, your brother's that's what master? We were yeah. We, we well, I don't have- We're gonna, we're gonna stick it to, so we want we're gonna try to get somebody local. Absolutely, because have no problems with that. the yeah, people we know. talked with were from Chittenden County. So yep. they were doing Chittenden County pricing and stuff. It's a whole different ball game. Oh. Than it is up here. Mm -hmm. Everything costs a lot more. So yep. when somebody around here started getting acting interested, right, we were more willing. To, willing. Yeah. So with us, that, you're thinking Jamie may be interested. Or Jamie or any, any of them. Yeah. 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 And he's a master, right? He's yeah. All, he's all. Yeah. He's his brother's master. Right. Right. He needs a, and he's like a and he's a town resident. Yeah, resident or you know, town. other even if he doesn't want us, somebody around here is going to treat us better than somebody coming up from. Yeah. Well, and I mean, if the they city. do their own drawings, well, kudos. I mean, that's the key to. But I don't know if he does, Jamie. Probably he would work with you. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I, it's not that I yeah. do it, but I can draw anything. Yeah, it's just do, do I need you to be told have where a plumber or plumbing guy that comes local. Get, uh, a local guy. We visit a little bit, so. But he's you know he's out of Chittenden, so. Oh, yeah. No, I can't remember. 
No, who, who you see you you work with more people in the area than we do, but right. Yeah, I just didn't know if you have somebody in town. We didn't pick anybody. We had we wanted we were going to try to get something and then go out and see people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know who work, usually works with you. you I got you, some different people or whatever. And, yeah. and I can. I can resource that yeah. pretty easily. But, like, I would go to Jamie. You yeah, know well, I mean? no. I would go we'd to, visit. And say, hey. You, you know, know, we've got we've got plumbers that are in town or that I yeah. see into the it's store and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Keep it. That's what Do you have, I mean, we can. We got, you got, you got Benoit and Marcel. Right, yeah. Maybe they're in, yeah. yeah. I, I don't have a problem working with those yeah. guys. Yeah, so I just had those guys. Yeah, no I'm problem with that. All right. What's going to have to happen is they're going to have to work with Ann one on one to come up with a print. Yeah. Their print, and she could draw that for them, but they're going to have to give the input. They're going to have to work. You're going to have to connect yeah. to whoever yeah. we pick to go with her. Yeah. So, with that being said, this one's 7900 Yeah. An estimate, guesstimate, I'm estimate. I'm going to say five for me because of the all the stuff, little yeah. guys, and all that kind of stuff. And, then and Michael, he wouldn't give me a number until it was more solid, but I'm going to base it on um, history. History, and I'm going to say five on Michael. So you're looking at 20 grand. Yeah. To have them design everything, yes. work with the engineers, test the pits. Well, all, all that has to be done. Yep. But basically, before before, I we got to do it anyways. Yes. Yeah. No so there's no way around it. Yeah. No matter who you. Yeah. You got you to gotta have these. Yeah. So as far as permitting, Michael can help with. Yep, he said. That, yeah. That's what he said. That's why he said once you, he does the fire, life safety, general, and permitting, and the stamping, of course, of his part of things. Brian will do the stamping of the engineering, structural engineering, and then the plumber and the heating guy, uh, plumbing and electrical. 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 <laughs> so Brian is on top of the fifty-six fire. Yeah, no, it's, it's about 18. Oh, but it's for all three of them. Yeah, but it, then his 7900. No, that's with that. That's with that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's less than I just 20 grand, roughly. Yeah. Just a rough. Just round it up. Just saying if something comes up. Yeah. Okay. So then at that point, once they do their thing, they're going to give me a print, and then I can go give you a price. Yeah. Then I can price my concrete. I can price. I'll talk to my electricians and my plumbers and I get the trusses and yeah. that's when I can give you a price and yeah. then that's when either, you know, somebody else gives you a price, I'm in the picture, we're out of the picture, whatever. Yeah. But I can't really do anything till this part yeah. of it's so done. And would have to know who we want to use as a plumber and an electrician. Engine. Yeah. And she's going to have to work yeah. with them. Okay. And of course, to if you pick somebody that, you know, they do all their own stuff because they can, they do. That's great. That's cool. Mm -hmm. kind of I'm just crazy. guessing that Jamie probably doesn't do a most of them print from the state. I, I, don't, or, 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 I, know, I, I know he. Most of them don't I know have to. That's the thing. Yeah. Most of them don't have to. It's only because and it's then they use yeah. prints. Right. They give him. <laughs> yeah. They give him prints. <laughs> yeah. And that's standard. That's typical yeah. for any electrician. Like yeah. I don't know an electrician or a plumber that draws their prints. No, they like. To I don't see, know any. Yeah. They like to see. <laughs> we put it here where they want us to put it. Yep. Well, and you know, for residential stuff. They don't need a print because they go the house. You do a walk through like the, the walk through right there. They go, Obviously, you know, walk through the homeowner. plumber. Mm -hmm. There's a toilet. There needs water right there. <laughs> <laughs> just do a walk. We just do a, you know walk through. That's all we do with the homeowners, and we put them where they want. But I mean, a plumber, it, <laughs> their area is isolated. Mm -hmm. You know, electrician. He's got a little more because he's got well, overhead the, lights. What kind of lights you're going to do? LED lights kind of thing. But you, you've got air lines and all that stuff. That would be under the plumber's realm, wouldn't it? The radiant? Air for, air the, for the hoses. Uh, uh, like impact oh, wrenches. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 There's a bunch of air lines that have to be run yeah. here and there. And well, you gotta talk to, you're going to have to talk to the plumber. Those are the that kind of things. That should be guy, the plumbing see if, guy, I would think. Yeah, see if yeah. you run air lines. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's in his... Right. Yep, that's the kind of stuff that yeah, that would be. A, get to that I guess that's something that you know. Hmm? That sediment tank for the drain and all of that stuff's gonna. All the underground stuff that'll be a plumber. Yeah. Well, well not no, really. That's no, excavator. Not excavator. Excavator. Ooh, but what you should do, which is gonna end up, would be. Well, there'd be the, there'd be drawings on that probably. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna have full so that's, Yeah. Which is gonna, it, that, a lot of that goes between the contractor and the excavator work that together. 
But I think what would help as far as electrician, plumber, heating, whatever, is what you guys are looking for. I mean, for me, like you, I just said, oh, the plumbing, that's pretty easy right here. But then you put the air thing in. What else is there? The electrician is going to need to know what do you want. This is a workbench, so you're going to beef it up with some outlets and stuff here. Put an air compressor here, and you just run a yeah. pipe the other end. <laughs> Even you guys can do that. Yeah, that's why I never <laughs> thought nothing of the air because I just figured. Well, I saw Montgomery's. Montgomery's got it. It goes up across the ceiling and then it tees in, and they got reels beside each oh, truck. Right. Yeah. Oh, but you there. can put reels on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Like what, like, right. what we got now, we don't have to have yeah, well, seal. Theirs was dead center of the, of the building. So when they pull it down, they can go to either end yeah. or whatever. Funk my head on Shorten it. Them. <laughs> Shorten them. <laughs> if, if you put them along the back wall, you know, you get 100 feet in each roll, 50 feet. So this is, what, this feet. is what we can look at when we go to places. Well, you've got yeah. 50, if you've got a 60 foot building, most of them reels only hold 50 feet. Yeah, yeah. when you put three of them in. But you can't reach, you front, can't of the reach the front of the building. You can't reach the front of the building. Just put a turn, one on turn the, the front vehicle of the around. Yard. <laughs> turn the vehicle like around. Like running, running airlines around this building is the cheapest part of the building you're yeah, going to Yeah, that's what I said. It's just black iron pipe. That's the <laughs> cheapest part of the Run building. Down the middle of yeah. yeah. Just, we got plastic. It'd be cheap. But <laughs> that's I something think. that's going to help your other people's, some of your, right. they may be short notes, but it's still more than what I know. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. I mean, I know that this is a workbench area, so you're going to beef it up with a bunch of outlets, so be, the charging yeah. tools and all that kind of There'll stuff. Be air on that back they said most the electricians. There'll be air on the whole place. They have code. They have yeah, to do it. They have already code. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So the other That's thing, why it's not me. Do you want her to draw in, because this is part of the cost, but you want her to draw in a workbench on the back of this thing, so it's on the paper? So if a builder like myself gets this building, I'm going to build what you give me. And if you don't have a workbench on there, um, you know what I mean? Probably should have it on there. It's, it's, just so you, you know what you're You want pricing. the space in between them, like you guys are talking? Oh, like said? each bay have an individual? Oh, no, I would just, or just, just, just two, two. bench here. And, well, yeah. this one, he's going to be his own thing. Because mm -hmm. do we have to put this wall here? If, if, we, if we do. You're gonna have to just put a bench on the back of this one, and then a 20 foot bench down the back of that one, or something. Then we can have portable bench. Yeah, probably put it in the middle, right? Yeah, that door needs to be moved down. Probably in the public. I didn't even look. Hey, Montgomery's ain't that big. They can just get a bench in the middle there, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got like a 20 foot bench or something on the back wall. Yeah, yeah. like the one got another guy. Yeah, it's like uh, and they got two, another one for the It's like a countertop <laughs> yeah. almost about the width of that. And but it's, it's, it's probably as long as this table. If I remember right. Another one down the other way. It's full of parts. Yeah, yeah. You frame, make sure it's. I guess that's the other thing we need to know is: Do we need to put a wall here? For the work bay versus the rest of the bay. Well, that'll be part of Michael Dugan's. Right, mm -hmm. that's what mm -hmm. I gotta. If you hire, you know, if you're gonna make this deal, oh, I have it now. People, Sorry, I wrote my note. You know, he's gonna tell you if you have to or not. I wrote in black pen. I don't like black pen. I mean, I would prefer not to have one. Yeah, if we can get away without a sprinkler system and a fire break, we would like to go that way. Right. Obviously. I'm sure in the in the ceiling or in the attic or in the trusses, they're gonna make you yeah. fire code your trusses. Yeah. Like she said, two places, then you have to fire tape that. Yeah. For, you know, if fire goes up, it doesn't go through your, ruin your own roof. That, I'm sure you're going to have to do. And if we can get away with all that, see if we can go extend that trench to that bay. All that the whole building. You should do it anyway, shouldn't you? It is. If we could, if we can get away with it. But if it's, if they consider a maintenance bay. Oil. Oil. oil Okay. It would be better not to just, have it. We'll just let's just just leave that end one alone for now. Yeah, because okay. there was we were going to have to get another permit for. No, we were going to have to get another permit for an oil thing. There you go. An oil uh, separator. Yeah. Well, that's what that trench line is is going out to the sediment tank. That's what that's for. It's grease trap. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't understand that. You dump a gallon of oil on the floor in there, you wash it out the door, and it goes underneath the door, perfect. You put it in a pipe, you're in trouble. A lot of things don't make sense. <laughs> you got a wetland little area out there behind the freaking sand shed. They like that. I know, but they don't want you to dump your, oil. let your stuff run out there. 
That's all. No? Oh, well, I'm just meaning they don't want it piped out there like they're... If it runs to it naturally, it's fine. Because it's something to do with the weeds. Filter everything. But you can go in Burlington and they relocated wetlands so that yeah. they could build. They fill in a wetland, they have to make another one. Yeah. Really? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, they do it. Sense. There's all kinds of crap. Farmland, right? that happens too, too. Oh, we moved some and we had some. We didn't realize wetlands. We had to mitigate another spot for another spot. That's common, actually. Did you take the frogs with you? The frogs moved in after. Oh. We made it a wetland. They found their way. We told them, told them it was a wetland and moved in. Little <laughs> <laughs> arrows. No rent. No rent. Move over. This Brian guy, can he tell us? According to their, what they're saying, we're going to have to have a mechanical drawing too. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've electrical plumbing. That's yeah. part of what we were yeah. electrical and plumbing. And yeah. the heating. Heating guy. Because it looks, all that has to be done ahead of time. Yeah. So, so I think we should. For the next step. I don't know anything. This guy I guess it's a that. firm commitment, right? Yeah. And then I think this Brian was requiring. If you read here, he was requiring a three thousand dollar retainer yeah. to start, and then I don't know about Michael Dugan and yourself. Whatever you guys, well, we should like hire, it's nothing to do with me at this point. We should hire that guy to do our soil test first. Right. Yep. We have right. to know because we might have you know to change Boyzell? our mind. You know Michael. Oh, I know his I went, sister. I went side by side. Him this you know his guy. I know. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's oh. his. Sister. I already knew this was coming down the pike. You did. Yeah. <laughs> He told you know, Dad about it. He didn't realize I was a selectman. Oh. <laughs> just recently? This, this past we Friday. Because yeah. yeah. I just yeah. talked to him on Thursday, so. Yeah. Word travels real fast. Because <laughs> I met Michael on Wednesday. Michael gave me his name. So I called him on Thursday. And Friday, yeah. So he said he'd have it to us by Monday afternoon before the meeting. And he, I talked to him today. You want to know if I was like the clerk that works handling everything? Like, no, uh -huh. not yet. <laughs> he asked me, I was soon, like, um, soon to be. <laughs> I said, Sean called me, so I don't <laughs> really know. <laughs> so I'm kind of winging it a little bit here. <laughs> so he wants kind of a firm commitment of $3,000, and you and me like a firm commitment if you want something. I don't need the money up front. I just need the firm commitment to so that I'm. Doing work and gonna get paid for it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that's the yeah. Yeah. Do I have a motion on that? I so move are we that any work. Motion individually, or are we doing a motion as a whole for all three? That's what I'm looking at. Sorry. If you want to start three? with one, or are you doing three, or what are we doing here? So Just so I know what I'm writing down. We need to start with this guy in our soil samples. So. Well, let me handle it. I move. Uh, that uh, going forward, anything we have these people do, we pay for, uh, even if the project doesn't happen. If we, yeah. any work done, we pay for it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so are we going to go with, okay. Yes. You guys are confusing. Yeah, okay. So you're doing the whole thing. You're yeah. doing we're going to, we're going to get the ball things. rolling. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to end up with a set of prints. Yeah. You're going to end up with in some in, in a yeah. lot of information. Yeah. yeah. So, and Michael can't complete his work until he has a, the mechanical okay. guys. Yeah. So, that'll be you, you guys coordinating. Reach out? Yeah, reach out to right. them and then have them reach out to me. And yeah, I'll reach out. What I'll do is I'll start with the local guys. I'll yeah. think here. I'll call Jamie and yeah, the see. other guys and I'll, I'll tell them what's going on. You, I'm sure you can, yeah. you see those, all those guys. Yeah, I see, them, I see them in all the stores. And I'll ask them if they want to get involved and if they do. Jake's connect to them and yeah. I'll jump out of it. Who's that? I said Jake's up to her father's right now. <laughs> boiler. But I'll touch base with them and then get them. Yeah. If they're interested, I'll hook them up with her. And yeah. Sounds good. Thank okay. you. Okay. You're welcome. Done. Yep. And like I said, any cheat notes that you can give will be helpful. Even if they would know, but I need to know when they're talking lingo to me. Mm -hmm. a yeah, okay. I'll look up some of the stuff tomorrow as far as what we had for permits already. I just, yeah. You guys want one of these? Yeah, you oh, guys want one? One is. Okay. 
I didn't scribble anything on the exterior. Right. I scribbled on this one. Two, cop two or three copies? There's just two copies. Two, so you can keep one and then... I'll have one for my scribbles. Is there any other changes? I mean, anything you want to add before she peels out of here? Like the overhangs are, what, two feet? Okay, so there is overhang. Uh, yeah, two yeah. feet on all the way around except for over the, the overhead doors, it's five foot. And that's probably you were saying. Are you going to do an apron, a concrete move. apron? So that I probably I mean, should add on that. Yeah, too. It, beyond it, it will be black top or something. Okay. In, in the future, so I right? probably don't have well, to do it concrete would, guys. Then. Wouldn't it be like a five foot apron off the doors? I mean, I don't know if it's there, cold or what. Theirs is, I want to say six foot because they have a uh, Montgomery. Yeah, they have a. Uh, you can see like a little wash trench where the water's dripping on the concrete. Oh, the concrete actually project. goes beyond the ease of the roof. So if that's five, you want to go six. You know, the, that's yeah. what they do. Six foot yeah. apron, concrete yeah. apron, and then bring your black top Then the black top will come up to it. Then that's in front of all the doors is the, I can't remember what they Pipes. Call the pipes. Door pipes. protectors. Yeah, door protectors. <laughs> all those. The, the posts. Yeah. Not concrete. We break either. the tail light instead of the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, yeah. <laughs> so you you steel pipe. Yeah. Steel yeah. pipe. So yeah. Be, yeah. Steel pipe full of cement. Yeah. Probably better put one right here too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And I painted yellow too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Safety <laughs> yellow. I know where they can get that. I right. like Georgia market. Yes. I know some girls put them on the inside too. They ran into it. It's all painted yellow. I don't know how anybody but somebody took it down. Wasn't me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But she has my email, so anything else you guys think of, I'll put anything and everything on here that you, but you also don't need to garbage it up. Contractors don't like a bunch of garbage on it. It's the state that likes the garbage. Like your overhead doors too, that's I mean, another, do you want windows in all your overhead doors? And obviously they're fully I would insulated. like them just for the light. Yeah. The natural light. I don't know if you're gonna add all that in there. In and the are. We were kind of talking, It's it, Probably doesn't make a difference. Well, it does, but would it be better to put the electric motors right on the pulleys? You can that, get that now, or you can get the old one dead center. Yeah, I would totally divert that to Phil Bouchard, Phil yeah. Champlain door. He Champlain does commercial door? doors, 500 or 1,000 of them a year. Okay. He's yeah. gonna tell you, Phil, Phil, that's Phil, right he's there. gonna tell you this is what you should do. More this like is the big, big doors. I, the opener's right on the side, right on the side. Side, 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 crank side door opener. More, we're nice. seeing more of that even residential. Yeah, you might have my shops got on my openers. Yeah. Right that was something side. those guys were talking about is a generator. Yeah, we had already discussed that. Oh we yeah, probably should have was a generator. Generator. yeah, because yeah. they said so that one time they, mm -hmm. they couldn't uh, well, no, open no, any doors or anything. I'm thinking they're thinking like a fourteen thousand or something watt. Yeah, pretty good. Our yeah. generator yeah. kicks on automatic. Yeah, yeah. automatic backup. Yeah, Does that it would need be a home a outside roof on there? Yeah, I would say. Oh, we just yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, we have it. Well, like the gen tracks, I don't think you have to put If it was over here, here, you wouldn't. There's, no, you don't. So you just put one in. You just did one in Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did one up in Richmond last fall. If, if it's on the gable end, they don't care. They don't have oh, to so you're all set. Don't worry. But that would be a, like a, if so, Jake is going to do a job, that would be his. The plumber would have, or the electrician. Electrician, but he's got to plumb the the gas to it and they're gonna have to do that. Yeah. So Just pour a slab, we pour a slab and they set it on there. Yeah. yeah. Electrician plumber work together. For, so need to know where that is. For the cost for the of the slab. generator in the pro versus what the project's uh, gonna bump the project. 26, uh, 26. See, I fired my down some yeah. generators. Room. Right, right. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, the generator, but what I'm saying is seven to wire seven, it up and the whole thing. I was just, no, yeah, that's that's it should be next to the utility room on that end though. Yeah, oh for sure, it'd be on that okay. end, I would say. That's seven, in a slab. Yeah. yeah. $7,000. How yeah. big a slab yeah. would So 26,000. I'm still listening to this. Uh, I just did six, seven what they're thousand. talking about. Well, well at well, least five, natural five, gas. Four, five. I just did a 14,000 watt generator, Generac. It was 10 grand installed, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we and did just to say a 26 <clears throat> alone was like six, 6,000. Two ways. Yeah, I don't, that's I don't, not hooking nothing up. Yeah, that's just that a generator. Yeah. The, the one you did in the box. Seven something. That has that to be very big, I would say. Six by eight, eight or something like that. Eight foot long, yeah. six foot out. Montgomery, uh, okay. more than enough. I can't believe his name right now, but he was saying 
that See how they, little he's pushing them right now hard there because they never, they never did it. And every time the power's out, they're in there trying to crank the doors open by hand. Yeah. Oh, it's just amazing. <laughs> he says, try to get the doors open and get all the trucks out and get the coals back up. And well, they don't have the little fire grab and push them up? <laughs> Apparently so not. Oh. I think he said they do have one now, but it only opens up a couple of the doors. Yeah, I mean, we got, we got that generator, but try to hook that up in the middle of the night. Well, the thing, the thing about yeah. it is, you, you go in the state of the air switches, building. You got to shut off before you blow it Ten out. or fifteen thousand dollars to have power when everything's down, and you guys are running around with your heads cut off trying to make the world right again. Yeah. You need power. So what's yeah. another fifteen, ten, whatever grand yeah, to set it up of, right? Percentage of the cost of the job is it's pennies. Nothing. Right. And it makes a huge difference on you guys when the world's falling apart. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Could you the other big yeah, and we talked off. about it years ago. We thought about now, installing one in there. It makes total sense. When I was on the board, cost. the town garage was a backup emergency station. Yeah. Or something no, it's like here. that. Oh, it's here now? It yeah. is. I was only because I know at one the garage time, isn't set up to have kids in there. So if something happens at the school, 200 kids are filing here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, better, you better make room on your lap. Well, I know there was a, there was a, at one time it was a, I was like, oh, no, the little kids don't take my room. See, we couldn't have yeah, years ago. Yeah, let's just hope that we could have had a while. Yeah, let's just hope that we could have had a while. Yeah, let's just hope that we could have had a while. Yeah, let's just hope that we could have had a while. They got one, but it won't run. That's what I'm saying. They don't even have one, really. Label it. You want to be able to turn it on stuff until it turns off, and you know what it's like. Until you hear it. I don't even know if it's still hooked up. I don't know who has to be charge of it anymore. Bird guess, doesn't fire it up? I guess I am. They, they wanted every year so like, like, to the one building one to be in charge of the generator. Okay, I'll start working. Yep. Okay, Just like I did very well. Good. That one day they were trying to Any turn it Any other questions on. there, gentlemen? Okay. questions. All right. Thank Have a good evening. Thank, Thank you. We you. appreciate it. Ed, are you going to take that or do you want me to drop it off to her? I can't. It doesn't matter. We're almost done anyway. We're good. We got anything else, Julie? Unless Lisa wants to come over. Other than that, we're done. Has anybody got any questions for Lisa? Yeah, does anybody have any questions? Why aren't you already answered it? They're spending our money still and she can't stop it. A few more people were reasonable. Uh, you can't. We got to move into Chittenden County and get. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know if that's possible. But um, there's no building down there. You can't move in Burlington. Right. That's true. Anybody have any other questions? Mm -hmm. When does it start, starts after the first year? The yeah. Um, January 3rd yeah. will be the first day. Great. Yep. You have a full agenda already. Oh, I think so. I think I think they're um, lining things up <laughs> as we speak. So it's going to be pretty busy because it's the second year of a biennium. Oh, yeah. um, so they like to get everything through because after that, all the bills die and they have to start over again. Is that one still food about being in there? I think so. Really? Yeah. I have not well, talked to him since he got there. Okay, well, he's doing very well. Is he? Yes, he is. And we're enjoying having him there, and he speaks his mind. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about enjoying, um, but I think he he likes the work. He wishes he could do more, you know. He, well, yeah. He was really happy about going, and I feel bad because I haven't talked to him since he started. Well, he's doing he's doing well. We're keeping a good eye on him, <laughs> <laughs> and I think I think he's he's learning a lot. Oh, okay. so just make sure you know you can call me or email me anytime. I don't have to be down there, even when I'm here. If you've got questions, let me know. Okay, so a simple question, only because sure. I'm getting this all the time, that everybody keeps telling me that um, 
the um, amount of registrations for DMVs going up and then oh, yes. uh, hunting licenses and all of this stuff are going mm -hmm. up. So I'm just like, well, they did all of this stuff in July and we'll find out in January or yeah. whatever. So. Yeah, so um, a lot of that will go in effect starting July 1st. It should, some of it should have gone so, into effect already. I'll say the marriage licenses were the only thing we got that okay. changed, so nothing else did. Okay, well, they're supposed to be going into effect. Um, the Department of Motor Vehicles didn't ask for an increase since you brought that up. And the legislature voted $22 million of extra increase for the DMV. And it was to pay for all kinds of other programs. It has nothing to do with paying for anything at DMV. Oh. So it was their way of raising revenue to pay for other programs. Um, so that was disappointing. Um, so the DMV is giving money to a different program? Yep. Is that what yep, you're saying? Yeah, because it comes in and it'll go in the general fund. It doesn't go in the transportation fund. Oh. So they can use it for whatever they so want. So we'll build a new bike trail somewhere instead of... Well, that, that's kind of transportation. No, this could be something like um, going towards one of the homeless programs or... Um, you can get a new town garage in there, did you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You know, I thought, did I send you anything? I thought that there was a way that you could use. Yeah, we don't want to use you too don't. many it's strings so attached to these programs. Our funds towards building a new garage. We had a whole nother set of guidelines we okay. had to go by, which was going to cost us probably more money. Than okay. The these grants so involve, a yes. lot of these grants cost a lot yes. more we than we want to spend. Okay. Okay. The ARCO funds have a lot of construction mm -hmm. guidelines. Okay. If you were building anything, it was crazy. That's right, because you have to um, pay a certain wage and you have to um, use local contractors, right? Mm -hmm. Which I know you're going to try right. to do, but well, sometimes you that. There's some These people got to be approved. Yeah. And... That's right. So yeah. You're and just then you do your uh, check backgrounds. Yeah. Like yep. like the like the sand shed to Enosburg cost was yeah. gonna cost more than us building a real building with heat and stuff in it. Yeah. Or almost <laughs> the same. It didn't add up. So we just decided I mean because we only had three hundred thousand left. Yeah. And that's going for the blacktop. Okay. Well that's just a good because use. that water tower road we all oh, yeah. decided needed mm -hmm. a lot of attention. It did. Yeah. And that will Berkshire. That's, that's a good way to get us caught up and now we mm -hmm. can get two miles a year to be on a, a regular rotation. Good. Yeah. But it's going to cost money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> everything is so expensive now. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Did you um, did you sign your salt contract? Yes. And what did I it stay the right same back. as it last, last year? year? Yes. Yeah, that's what Franklin 91, said. Yeah. Yes, they said 91. So yeah. I guess that's good because everything else is going up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you order some? Not yet. I just wanted, I hadn't looked in the salt shed to see how much we had in there to put up our pile now. And I looked at it and I said, yeah, we got, got some that's been in the back since last year, so I'll try to use it all up before I order anymore. And then we'll get some. We'll see if we get real winter. We mm -hmm. certainly had a crazy summer, but uh, you didn't have too much damage here. Which no, we didn't. I, we worked a really little bit. Good. A little bit. That Friday, that Friday storm. Yes, the Friday like, one. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still, I, can, I get looking. I got to haul some more gravel in my driveway. <laughs> I got to haul that started to watch out. I didn't realize. Yeah. yeah. You can't even really. Yeah, these compare. communities did pretty well mm -hmm. compared to, you know, the ones in the south, uh, central part of the state mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. southern. Oh, what a mess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we only had. One road at Cahill and one culvert that got washed out or undermined. Yep. Fix them. Well, I'm sorry I don't have any big answers for you. Yeah, we've come to expect that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate you coming. Yeah. Yes, well, yeah. I always like to hear what's yeah. going on, especially yeah. in my own town, because yeah. I get to hear what's going on all over the state. and. You know, Berkshire is just always so quiet. It is, and I tell people that. We I like it too. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes. The big thing is you're here at this garage. Yes. Here. Well, good luck with the, yeah. the garage because you've been wanting it for a long time. Yeah. It's too bad we couldn't get it done before COVID. Yes. Yeah, when it was this twice as much right. yeah. as what we yeah. want it to be. Yeah. Well, that's what everybody's mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, even going to the grocery store costs yeah. you twice as much yeah. as it did then. It's terrible. Yeah. I mean, even collecting taxes now, people totally understand. Like, we really haven't had a whole lot of people say too much. Like, mm -hmm. you know, everything's gone up. We've oh, Jody did want to know why it went up. I says, because you saved money last year's why it went up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much exactly what happened. Yeah. It did, too. But yeah, it really says, it looks like it went up a lot, but you got a tax break yeah. last year. Exactly. I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. Well... Because not everybody realizes it's the select board's fault and not mine. <laughs> <laughs> we blame it on you anyway. Yeah, I'm yeah. learning that town clerks get a lot of a lot of blame for things. Yeah. Get, uh, I think my I think everybody on the board gets blamed. When you go down street. <laughs> oh, I know. Believe me, I know. <laughs> Do you know if my taxes got paid? Sometimes they. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they, did. they have forgotten about it before. No, this time, because I went through every single oh, one of them. So when we can, the we can, of, I moved to adjourn oh. the meeting so she can get going. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we don't, okay, so we can talk to her without being we on do camera. This thing <laughs> yeah, we're not. Tony, should we do this thing here first? Let's just, hire this guy to come do the test. We did that. We did. We did hire well, we, And we voted anything that we hire, anything we have anybody do, we're paying for it. Yeah, I mean, regardless so, if we build the shed or not. I think but does that mean he, we're calling this guy tomorrow? Yeah, she's going to. She's already in the whole room. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we voted on. Yeah. And we hit all, all of them. So yeah. Sean and anybody who's doing any work is going to get the money. Yeah. yeah. And he's going to coordinate on that. Yeah, that part. So you you, you seconded it. <laughs> <laughs>